your journey to park model living? Like, how did you stumble across it? And you want to start what made you jump into sure. it? Well, it's not like it was on our radar or anything. We were looking for camping, like we've always summer camped and things were getting harder and harder um, to find spots. So I start, we started looking at privates and I was looking online and we saw this place and came out for a month. And on day two, I said, I love it here. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs> the so after the month, near the end of the month, then we talked with Janice and um, signed a lease on a lot down at the other end. In between, this lot came up by opportunity, by word of mouth. And so we moved on to this lot with the fifth wheel. And then after that, talking with Janice, kind of like, oh, we got a building on its way that could go here for full-time living. And by November, we were signed, sealed, and delivered and had to sell our house in the city and <laughs> had moved out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. That happened quickly then, yeah. eh? Yes. Came in July 1st and November had everything on the go. Wow, impressive. <laughs> yeah. That is very impressive. And again, impressive. like Sue said, it wasn't on our, we had thought in the future, in a few years, but I could tell people it was just right and timing was there. So. Yeah, and why not then, right? Yep. So how did you discover Cherry Hill Living? Uh, that was me. Yep. Like, we were seasonal campers at another campground and we were just looking to change. And I just did a random Google search and saw this, did the tour and it was like, wow. Yeah, this, we gotta come here. Someday we gotta make this work. And, and then, then it just happened yeah. really fast. <laughs> well, and then the, the, uh, the availability of 12 months stay yeah. really inspired us. That's, I think that was the hook that took us in right yeah. there. There at that moment we said, let's go. Let's do, it. Let's do it. Walk us through the process of how you came to have a park. I was looking on the internet, social media, uh, found Cherry Hill. We had a seasonal campground for almost 21 years. Um, close to retirement for both of us, so we were kind of looking at a retirement place. Um, we came out for a visit with friends of ours, and within probably 30 days, we had uh, secured a lot and then started the process of building our home. What what made you choose this specific site? I guess you kind of saw, like, it kind of chose you, I guess, yeah. in a way. We wanted to be on the water. We knew that, like, since we decided that we would stay here, we wanted to be on the water. And Janice just kept saying, one will come up, one will come up. They always do. And this again, is... this one, just by word of mouth, actually, at the um, uh, appreciation or the, the member dinner that we were chatting with some folks inside one of the display trailers and a couple of weeks later we met them just on the road here walking and said are you the people that had a lot and yeah come back sit on the deck and by the end of the weekend we made, made awesome. a deal with them so. <laughs> yeah. that's a nice way to do it like to be already in the park mm -hmm. and then you can find out you can really tell figure out what you like and don't like or what yeah. you yeah yeah. Talk to the people and the, that. Uh, for our situation, because we still have the fifth wheel, they were taking their trailer off, which is ideal. So we just popped ours on and ready, set, go. I definitely was looking for um, a place to relax uh, close enough to my home and work. I, like I said, uh, I do work full time and it's nice to have a place for me that is close enough where I can actually come after work and spend an evening in the water. I can have my family here, my kids and grandkids can come. And it just was a community that I felt safe and comfortable in. It was quiet, it was uh, peaceful, and yet there's a whole factor of fun here as well when we see the beach full of families. What I love about our site is it gives us the opportunity to do all our social things, be on the beach, um, hang out with people, whatever, but then we leave it and we come back here. It's nice to mm, Yes, because yeah. you're so, um, off the beachfront. We yeah. can make so, yeah. the choice. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's an event going on. Well, let's go. Oh, today I just want to sit and enjoy the solitude for middle. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's great. I mean, again, going back to the, one of your earlier questions, 
looking at sites. You know, initially, oh, waterfront, oh, that would be great. Right? I can get to the waterfront in about five minutes, if not less, to our dock and enjoy that. And then come back here and have my forest. And I'm a country boy. It's always been, this is my world and I love it. Yeah. You know, he would have been fine with like 30 acres all by ourselves, where I'm like, I need neighbors. <laughs> and people and friendships. So and this, is our this worked perfectly. Oh yeah, that's a good medium. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Cause you're not gonna find this anywhere else. And the seasonal, like we had an opp a different opportunity that a lot of people don't. We lived here for a summer on a lake site, basically close to the lake in our trailer while this was all being built. We had already sold our house. Oh. So we got to meet all the seasonal people and we really enjoyed, we made some great friendships already so we we look forward to seeing them when they all come back in spring so that's pretty cool and then all yeah, the, no the events just oh. brings everybody together that they have out here so i love yep. that too definitely mm -hmm. yeah when you were driving around you obviously looked at a bunch of different sites how did you pick this one we have two huskies so two large dogs so we wanted something private and secluded so they weren't barking at everyone going by and so this was the site that would never have a neighbor on one side of us, and there would be a garage in between the other side of us. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Give yeah. you some more privacy. And we back on to nobody. Yeah. Oh yeah. The view from behind here is beautiful. Yeah. Just like full yeah. of trees. Full of trees. So it's yeah. just it's private. Yeah. No kidding. And there's the creek right behind. The creek us. is there. Yeah. <laughs> and the creek rises in the winter. You can't really see it right no, now. No, you won't. Oh. You won't see it now. So the leaves are gone. <laughs> How did you actually choose this particular site? Well, um, so we came and uh, met with Janice, and we started to do the tour. And this one was for sale, but mostly it was, uh, I think. Well, I had a six-bedroom house that I had sold, and Carol had a three-bedroom con. Yeah. So <laughs> you downsized quite a few bedrooms. Oh, it was crazy. So <laughs> yes. So there was a video posted of this unit that we have now for sale, and it was very well done. And it just really showcased the beauty of the lots and being in nature, but still having that close community and uh, all the amenities of the, the clubhouse and and the lake and all those things. So. When we got rid of the, well, when I got rid of my place and then we put Carol's up for sale, we kind of needed a place right away and we didn't yeah. want to wait while the construction of a new place was being done. Yeah. So we thought this fit our needs perfectly. It was already there. And I think the big oh, yeah. plus was the garage um, was available to us too, to do some temporary storage while we... Ah. did that process of downsizing um yeah we there was everything about this unit we actually just loved it yeah. so that's kind of nice like you didn't actually design this one but no. it sort of fit your needs yeah what were some of the things that you added on after you moved in well uh the first thing is our dog run a uh, good sized dog run yeah uh because we have two large dogs and uh they're factor prominently in our family and uh so we wanted to make sure they were comfortable and happy so that was the the major addition to begin with um then we put in the parking pad so that we had great parking for our vehicles which we're not going to fit in the garage because of their basically their size and the need to store some things in there and then uh, this patio we uh, put in last fall because we really like outdoor living. We enjoy uh, having fires all year round, even in the winter. Uh, we like outdoor winter activities and being able to come back and start a fire and sit. So, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. You just cross the creek and there's all trails back there for snowshoeing and yeah. cross country skiing. Yeah, you're kind of backed right up into the poplar bush here, yeah. which yeah. is nice. Yeah. yeah. You need a little bridge to get over the... Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of, it's a bit of a jump. <laughs> yeah. We kind of like this as opposed to being on the water because you've got the nature more here. Yeah, and quiet. And the birds. There's so many different kinds of birds. Uh, 
singing all the time and it's just so peaceful. At night, it's so completely quiet. You'd be having your morning coffee and the deer come right up. Yeah. I was just gonna ask you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds lovely, yeah. yeah. And we wanted a yard. Um, the, the lots on the lake are beautiful, but not a lot for uh, doing, you know, a small garden boxes like you see in our front, which we added this year, the two garden boxes. And, uh, you know, there's just something about having some grass and, and space to go, uh, to go outside and just toss the ball around with the kids or, you know, just... Uh, We've only been here a year, so it's still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, we got quite a bit done in the first year. And yeah, no kidding. some other projects. Yeah. Feels very homey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted somewhere for our granddaughter to enjoy like our kids did. So when Cherry Hill kept popping up, we thought, we gotta check this place out. So Curiosity got the best of us. Phone Janice, we made an appointment. We saw this place came up, we wanna come in. And uh, she says, well, can you wait till Sunday? Like, no, I wanna come now, it's Friday. <laughs> we wanna get in before anybody else sees it. And she basically accommodated us and we came down and we saw it and fell in love and bought right on the spot. What can we say? We walked in and we said, this is it. This is the resort we want to be at. Some place that makes you feel happy, makes you smile. We brought one of our daughters with us. And as we drove in, we were driving up to the barn. And the first thing she said is, is this how retired people live? And I says, I guess. <laughs> then we get here and we find out it's all ages, which is fabulous. Yeah. I like it because it's our age. It's our daughter's age, so they're in their forties. It's our granddaughter. You know what? It's family. And this is what it's all about. That's how we found it. Can you tell me a little bit about your site here? Like how you, what do you enjoy about it? Everything. everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what how we wanted. It's, it's, it's everything set up. It's just, I walked in here. This is it. That's it. All the work, yeah. is, all the work has been done thanks to the first owners. And we're basically enjoying it. We don't really need to do anything to the site because it's perfect in our eyes. Uh, what we did do is this year, we did add the dock in, which was probably one of the best things we did this year. The kids love it. Uh, they're constantly nice. diving off of it, but yeah, no, we absolutely love the site. We needed to be on the water again, because that's where our previous place was, was on the water. So why don't you tell us like how you found your site at Cherry Hill? Absolutely. Um, I've, I'm, I live locally and I've seen Cherry Hill develop over the years. Uh, a couple years ago, I was starting to think about um, having a little retreat away from home. I still work full time and I thought about uh, Cherry Hill as an option. And at the time, I just didn't make the decision. And then about a month ago, I thought it might be time to look for something that is a little waterfront retreat. I absolutely love the water uh, being out in nature and Cherry Hill popped up in my mind and I went on the website and this perfect site for me was listed. <laughs> and a few days later, I was the proud owner of it. <laughs> Funny how life works out, That's right? That's exactly <laughs> it. Yep, it was meant to be. Hey. Is this how retired people live? And I says, I guess. <laughs> I'm a country boy. He would have been fine with like 30 acres all by ourselves where I'm like, I need <laughs> neighbors and people and friendships. So and this, is our this worked perfectly. Well, we certainly uh, want to live here forever. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we don't want to move Excellent. again. <laughs> yeah. He said, I love it here. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and we love it here. Yeah. Be best move we ever done, for sure. By awesome. far, by far the best. Man, it's just so peaceful. At night, it's so completely quiet. What a great place to be on a rainy day. And uh, I can end my work day, jump in the uh, carts, get down to the dock and swim. It really is like living at a resort. <laughs>